All right, um, I just wanted to show my 05 STI. Um, it's a 2005. The only thing it literally has done on it is a uh, cat back, it's homemade cat back, and a um, Samco uh, silicone turbo inlet hose. Um, so, I don't really, I mean, I, well, we could do like a walk around, and that's like about it. Um, was considering selling it, but I don't think I will. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, you know, I've had it since 2014. Um, not all of 2014, but most of it. Um, car, uh, you know, the car has mostly had it, you know, had its life of being stock, and I'm pretty sure the owner that had it before me, he had it longer than I did, because I've only had it, um, it's a it's 14 years old and I've only had it for five years now because you know since 2014 and it's 2019 now so um, but yeah I mean the the thing about the 05 STI is that it's you know probably um, a unicorn in itself um, for um, for that um, I'll go inside and then um, it does need some things um it has right now it has it needs rear lateral links because the stock lateral links that have never been off the car have not been changed and um it has a coolant leak has an oil leak which supposedly got fixed but it did not because it still has a leak and then it also needs an arrow separator um i had a uh, shop put on a new um a um a new uh oil pan and they put on the Killer B uh, oil pickup also, which was, which was uh, you know an upgrade at the time for that. And I wanted to do an arrow separate at the time, but that was more money and stuff. And with everything I did with the oil leak, and you know they had to regasket the oil pan, and then they did an oil change, and then they also put on a new PCV valve, and then they did some other stuff that you know they looked at. But the car has. 103,557 miles on it. Um, there's literally no problems with it except for, oh, it also needs a downpipe because uh, I, I had a code for uh, a check engine light come on for a, a um, catalyst um, efficiency, uh, whatever. So, yeah. But, um, so yeah, there's that. Um, the car runs good. I mean, it does have an, uh, a, um, a exhaust leak too on top of it needing a new catalytic converter, which I plan on going a catalyst, uh, for the catalyst downpipe since the only cat on these STIs are on the downpipe. So I want to get rid of that cat and go with the catalyst one because I could probably make more power and stuff. And that's, you know, more, be more beneficial and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'll go with a divorce wastegate uh, set up for the downpipe in the bell mouth or if I would go with uh, just the bell mouth and stuff. I'm thinking just a bell mouth because it's got a stock turbo on it and stuff like that. And I don't think it would affect anything or really change anything if it if I would go with either or downpipe if it's catless. Um, so, and then other than that, uh, I mean, you know, that stuff that, you know, the rear lateral links, the coolant leak, the oil leak, the AOS, the downpipe, and then I need the four wheel alignment. Um, and I'm thinking for AOS, I'm thinking for, uh, either going with the Radium uh, one or a IAG. Um, I was considering getting a, um, a Crawford, but I, t I was told that those things suck and they're like the one of the worst AOSs on the market. So I reevaluated my uh, opinions about that, and I was just like, yeah, you know, I was I was told that um, whoever goes with that, um, or uh, the person that I was talking to about that was saying that he would not put a Crawford AOS on a, a Subaru um, WRX or STI even if somebody paid him because they're that bad. I'm like, I didn't even know about that. So and then I would like to go with a a um, a um, uh, let's see a blow-up valve too, but you know those don't seem Functional I think it I think they're just like for noises and stuff um, 
but the car is you know is, is in okay condition so but you know what I mean yeah so but um here's the back so uh, nothing's been changed and here's my um there's my exhaust now the good thing about the Tome is that it has a um and yes I do still have the stock wheels on it you know the stock BVS's I wish those were silver but they're gold that's the way they came on the car and honestly the car when I first got it it was like almost in the mint condition and you know I I, had, I bought the car with it's about 61,000 miles in 2014 and now it's got over 103,000 on it now so that kind of sucks but you know when you drive a car that's it's gonna happen you know um, fortunately the car is still running good I did a um, last time I did a um, timing belt was at about 91,624 which you know that was a little bit over the mileage because you're supposed to do them at uh, 90,000 miles but I was a little bit over I was um, you know 1,624,000 miles over the, the mileage interval for the timing belt and water pump but I got it changed in time I went with a, a stock um, I went with the, the OEM timing belt with OEM pulleys and and the bolts and um, you know uh, the water pump and all that good stuff the gaskets and all that stuff so ever since then you know I don't remember what day that was on like what month that was a while ago because that you know <laughs> yeah that's that, that's definitely over 10,000 miles ago so you know I must have did it right because I was you know that timing belt was a uh, was definitely a very involved job it took me about I think from start to finish like a good six hours so a good solid six hours so that was a um, that was tiring after I, I got all that done because then I had to then I had to I had to um, you know f um, I had to uh, get all the air out of the coolant because I took out the radiator because I didn't want a damaged radiator when I had that in there when I was doing the timing belt um, that's actually the right, that's actually the better way to do a timing belt on these cars is to take out the radiator to do a timing belt. So, but anyways, you know, so that's, that's that. So, um, so yeah, uh, I guess I'll show the engine a little bit too. So, nothing really too special. It's all stock, which is surprising for, you know, somebody having a car like this after, you know for like five years I put a new battery in it I had to unfortunately I did I did brakes there's brakes all the way around there's pads and rotors um uh, I forget the name of the rotors but I got the rotors off of uh, rally rally sport direct .com, and then I got the pads at Napa and the, and the Napa pads are Aki Bonos and those are all on all four corners and stuff inside outside and inside and I did the brakes all myself front and back rotors so it has pads and rotors all the way around now i'd like to do um braided lines um but anyways it you know i got a new battery in it like i said and then when i was doing the brakes and stuff on one on the passenger side front i messed up the abs sensor so i went to an auto parts store and they had to order that for me because they didn't have that in stock so i had to get that and then um then i ordered uh, oh, I didn't order anything else. Oh, well, that hose is new for the radiator, but the radiator is a Mishimoto radiator with Mishimoto uh, red hoses. Um, I did order the um, the uh, special clamps, but unfortunately they didn't come until later and stuff. And luckily the hoses came with clamps already, so I figured I'll just use those in the meantime because I needed. I literally waited for the radiator for like literally like a whole week, like a whole seven days. And so a whole seven days I had to drive something else and stuff to work and back, and that sucked. Um, but I don't know, uh, future plans might consist of building the engine. Um, I don't know. We'll see though, uh, you know, I don't know. I know that, you know, engine builders or, you know, engine that get built, there. it's depending on how much power the customer wants to make with the car. Um, now I know that more power means more responsibility, but I mean, 
the way it is, it's it's still in the stock power and stuff, literally. And you know, the downpipe hasn't even been changed. The stock downpipe hasn't even been changed, and that's one thing that sucks because um, the downpipe is, you know, quite restrictive on these cars. So I want to get that off and get a um, uh, get a. Uh, uh, let's see, what is it? Get a a, a, um, a Catalyst downpipe and Tomei, NVIDIA, um, Turbo XS, um, or something else. Uh, you know, I've been told that NVIDIA is good to go with. Um, Tomei is good too, but they're more expensive and stuff. And I heard that, you know, NVIDIA is like the, the, uh, the standard for downpipes and all that. So I'm definitely considering more of a Catalyst downpipe. Um, so other than that, I mean, you know, there we go. So, but you know, so there's there's future plans for the car. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, you know, now it's it just consists of money and stuff and uh, money and time. And uh, I've been off of work late, uh, lately because I broke you know uh, a bone, so I've been off of work and I haven't made any money lately. So. Um, Literally, this will be my first video of my car about talking with it and stuff like that and showing it and, you know, what, you know, I want to do with it and, you know, this and that. But I definitely need, you know, the AOS to get the oil leak fixed, to get the coolant leak fixed, and um, to put a downpipe on it. Um, so hopefully I can do all that in six months, I mean, in that time frame. So... But we'll see. So, um, oh yeah. Alright.